Five years ago today, I took over my very first command as captain with Celebrity Cruises. And this is how it all began. The year was 1990 and I was 12 years old. I was playing hide and seek with my brother and I hid under my parents' bed where I found a brochure from Premier Cruise Lines with the unmistakable word Disney on the front. I'd never heard of Premier Cruise Lines, but my parents told us over dinner that we were going on our first big family adventure cruise on Thanksgiving with Premier Cruise Line. The Big Red Boat, as it was known, was the official cruise line of Walt Disney World, offering land and sea packages with three or four day cruises followed or preceded by three or four days in the park, which was included in the price of the cruise. The ship offered extensive kids programming like treasure hunts and theme nights, and honestly, I was just more impressed with the colorful deck plans. I remember my first sight of the ship and being in complete awe. She was huge to me at 35,000 gross tons, but just to put that in perspective, the Celebrity Edge is 100,000 gross tons more than the Atlantic. But the ship was impressive for her time. The Atlantic was built in 1982 and was in service with Premier Cruise Lines from 1988 to 1997. She later became the MSC Melody for MSC Cruises. Unfortunately, the ship sank at its berth in Goa, India in 2016. She was later refloated and sold for scrap in 2018. But I digress. Back to our story. The ship was amazing. We spent four days making friends, staying up late, having family time, and probably getting into a little bit of trouble. And that's Pascal, our waiter. I had a huge kid crush on him. And I can't forget the Midnight Buffet, where, let's be honest, is there anything more magical than Cinderella's castle and the Statue of Liberty made out of lard? To say that we were less than thrilled to go home was an understatement. But as we packed the car, I told my dad that I knew what I wanted to be when I grew up. What's that, he said. I told him I wanted to be the cruise director and plan all the fun events on board. He looked at me and he said, you can do anything you want in the world, including drive the thing. Fast forward to 2015, where I'd spent 19 of the last 25 years going to sea. I was promoted to captain with Celebrity Cruises, but only my husband knew because an official announcement was still coming. I asked our president and CEO, Lisa Lutoff Prolo, if I could tell my parents on Father's Day. She not only said yes, but she wrote a letter for me to share on why I was going to be Celebrity's first female captain and the first American woman to command a mega cruise ship. And this is how it went down. To date, it's the proudest moment of my life. And what if it hadn't been for the big red boat and amazing parents who always support their kids' dreams? That's why as a reminder, I keep my junior cruiser certificate to this day, proudly displayed on the walls of my captain's office.